Thanks for tuning in. I'm Karen Lair with a look at the top news headlines for Saturday, December 14th. A record number of volunteers showed up Saturday morning to lay wreaths on graves at the Idaho State Veterans Cemetery. It's all about honoring heroes for the holidays as part of the Wreaths Across America annual tradition. More than 5,000 wreaths now decorate the graves of Idaho veterans, providing a way for families to remember their fallen loved ones. The wreaths were delivered by a husband and wife team who drove them to Boise from St. Louis. A new collaboration at a Boise homeless shelter is introducing residents to art. The colorful new initiative at Interfaith Sanctuary aims to be an outlet and a confidence builder for families and adults experiencing homelessness. Jeffrey McCauley helped make it happen. Kind of came up out of the top of my head when I was out there flying a sign um, one day and I decided to start painting pictures live out in the corner of Fairview and Curtis and Basically, it erased the stigma for me because people started to talk to me and wanted to know who I was. To see how the project is helping a Boise man in his fight against addiction, you can watch the full story on our website, sixonyourside.com. Skiers and snowboarders heading up to Bogus Basin this season will see some new features at the Pioneer Lodge. Crews just finished those final touches this week. One of the major new upgrades is a massive storefront floor to ceiling window installation, giving boarders breathtaking views while taking a break between runs. The first and second floors remain largely untouched, but the third floor now features a new deli counter and a kitchen installed mostly by Bogus Basin staff. This is the first major facelift for the lodge in several decades and comes just in time for the mountain's new quad chairlift, which will drop visitors right off at the base of that lodge. They'll be doing more testing in the week ahead, but they hope to have that chair up and running next Saturday. The farmstead, known for fall favorites like pumpkin patches and corn mazes, now looks a lot more like the North Pole. The farm is transformed recently for the holidays with a tree lot, sleigh rides, and real reindeer on hand. Kids can even make Christmas cookies with Mrs. Claus. The event runs until 9 o'clock Saturday night and will be running again Friday evening and most of the day next Saturday. Now, Steve Liebenthal with Beyond Your Side Forecast. And pretty nice afternoon on Saturday to head out to Farmstead. Our temperatures were above average. Boise got up to 42 degrees. Uh, we didn't see much in the way of precipitation other than some light showers, but a lot of rain and or snow falling the previous couple of days. So some snow for those skiers in the mountains and there's more on the way. A weak system will come through on Sunday, likely bringing more snow to mountain locations. No huge amounts and we may see a sprinkle of rain in the Treasure Valley on Sunday, but then things uh, uh, will dry up for Monday, Tuesday, and most of Wednesday before the next storm system comes in. That one will bring more snow to the mountains and likely rain with possibly a rain snow mix to the Treasure Valley for the next several days. Our afternoon highs will be right where we expect them to be this time of year, right around 37 degrees for Sunday in that same range for Monday and Tuesday with morning lows in the 20s. Watch out for some early morning fog, especially Sunday and Monday mornings. The winds will pick up on Wednesday as the next storm system starts to come in and that will bring cloud cover and the potential of precipitation, especially on Thursday. May see some snow mixing in early in the morning, but I think by afternoon a rain and snow mix and then those temperatures warm up behind that system for the weekend by Saturday an afternoon high of 47. For the latest news headlines and up to the minute forecast, go to sixonyourside.com.